Hi folks, I think it's always good to, uh, uh, to um, make things up as you go along. It takes a bit of nerve, but it's only a bit of paper and cheap paint. It's not as if it's going to break the bank, so to speak. Uh, so I'm looking at a blank sheet of paper, of studio paper, wondering whether to do a a mountainous scene, maybe we will. So the first thing I do when I try to improvise is just to, just to start, just to get a bit of wet on the paper and the, pa the painting will hopefully paint itself. There was a time when I used to draw this stuff out. Right, okay, so let's uh, I hope this paint doesn't split. That's my palette, all nice and battered and dirty. Let's just clean it up a little bit with a brush. I've got some clean water, so let's just clean off the Payne's grey from there. Okay, now we'll put in some bit of raw sienna. Let's see if we can do some central light. So let's have a bit of a bit of ochre, uh, sienna. Okay, there we go. Got a bit of bit of red in the sky. I like red. Light's red, that is. So a bit stronger than that. It's quite a weak colour. Uh, sorry, this is quite a strong colour, but they all dry much lighter after when they dry. And that's, uh, the ultramarine tends to be a little bit uh, weak, weaker than it used to be for a cotman. Okay, so let's just get a nice bit of central central light. I can mix a bit of paint grey now I think just to enhance the blue oops so that that centers the light and and we'll give you a portal Okay, well now that it's not as dark as I'd like, so I'm still going to work away at it. It's a bit thicker. It's a lousy day in London. Okay, let's reclip. So I've used a bit of Payne's grey, which is quite saturated to uh, deepen the blue the blue right now we'll put in some uh, put in some background okay A little, a little valley through there, bit of bit of burnt sienna, bit of yellow, and we'll get some Payne's grey in there. Bit of blue. Now, if you want the paint to stick, you need thick, thick paint. Right. Okay, now I'm going to uh, dry that now. So, I want to put in some side mountains, hills, whatever. So fast forward.
Now you can see how much the uh, paint has dried lighter, much lighter. The red has almost disappeared. All right, now we're going to put in some mountains now. Well, some big hills. Uh, start off with distance. I'm going to have blue and Payne's grey. I'm going to use this to uh, scrape out in a moment, but I want nice dark, pretty red. Right, now let's get the... Uh, get a card. And start just to Right, over done that. Uh, we can put some trees up there or something. Let's get on the other side now. I'm using a lot of red and, and sienna. Vary the, vary the colours and the textures. Must remember we've got a bit of a mountain stream here. Just wet that again. Pull that tight. Well, that's just drying. The thing with this studio paper, this is Fabriano 130 pounds, is that it the water tends to stay on the surface for much longer than the better or well, the quality papers. This is good for what it does, but it, it it stays there, and and then that's where you can scrape it off, and it shows.
Oh, there we are. That's uh, the rocks done. Put one in there. Okay, now we've got to do some uh, texturing now. So let's put some. Uh, I'm going. Yeah, I'll carry on with this brush. I want to put in some trees and stuff there. So we'll go with some green and some Payne's grey. So we get a nice, good, good green, bit of red. Bit of uh, trees in shadow. Okay, now then, let's uh, scrape out a little bit of that. Let's go. All right, that's okay. Now, put on the uh, on here. Oh, excuse me. Right, I haven't got coronavirus. It's COPT, so I don't stand a chance. I'm just using the card to demonstrate the lifting out what you can do with uh, with all this. You, Can put some more stuff over that, but all right. So, do a bit over, over well, let's uh, get some paint on the other side, and we'll do something similar. Let's get some on the top there. Go to town with the silhouettes here. Bit of texture, just illusion of detail, and put the, the tray down and just Right, I'm just going to put a bit of uh, texture back over some of this. Bits that you don't like, you can do this too. Okay, now um, I'm going to put a bit of water in there. Whoops. Uh, that's too dirty. 
clean the palette. There, sort of clean. Bit of grey. Okay, that'll do. Let's use the rigger for. Boyd's All right, let's uh, find a place for a signature. A bit wet there. I'll break a habit of a lifetime and put it on the right. Okay, that'll do. No, no more detail than that. We've got, we've got um, plenty of detail there, or the illusion of it. <coughs> it's good fun making it up. Go for it. Have a go. You, you never know what you're going to come up with. All oh, paint is always a challenge, especially when you're working blind. Right, put a mount on it. Mm. Don't know what that is there. All right, that's uh, I've got over four hundred videos on my Patreon channel, folks. And my Etsy shop. Okay, I'll just take the camera up a bit higher so you can get a good view of that in the mount, that do. Right, there we are, plenty of colour in that, nice strength, anything but subtle. But it's got a, it's got a power, so we've got a, we've got a focal point there, the top of this burn going through the rocks. We've got this cloud which is, gives a suggestion that there's a clearing storm and plenty of flicks. Well, I hope you like that one. Have a go at these things. This paper does tend to go a little bit muddy because of the paint staying on the surface for so long but it's got its, uh, it's, got its virtues. So I'll get that uploaded for you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.